everybody welcome back uh, we're in the shed again and uh, it's been about a week or so since the last video maybe longer and it hasn't stopped raining uh, as you saw in the intro uh, we're up to I think six or seven inches for the month now uh, and it's only been 20 days into January of 2019 so far um, remarkable remarkable amount of rain so I uh, haven't had a lot of chance to try the telescope out um, and see if the previous collimation actually worked any uh, any magic on the photo quality. But in the meantime, the square grid pattern lens for my Howie Gladder collimator has come in. And uh, since we're still downtime here due to the weather, uh, why not uh, give it a shot and see what it looks like, I thought. So why don't you come with me today and we'll uh, give that a shot and see what we end up with. The weather has been so wet that the wood of the shed is actually uh, swelling due to the moisture and I can barely shut the door. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're gonna take the telescope back apart again and uh, pull the camera and uh, the uh, filter wheel off. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is start with the pinpoint laser first, uh, shoot that straight through the telescope and see if I can get it squared up to uh, the wall as well as I can. I noticed uh, the last time I was doing this that the uh, flat screen over here is reflective and if uh, it's dark in here like it kind of is right now, you can actually see a reflection of the laser beam back onto the primary of the telescope. Um, you know, and that tells you if the beam is squared up to the wall or not. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first, and, and I think that's going to be key for seeing the square pattern uh, correctly on the wall. Um, so here we go. Let's this back off again. stuff is so damp. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but wow. Oof. These uh, moonlight adapters and uh, focuser, as well as Teleview, use a brass compression ring inside the bore here to hold on to the lens or eyepiece or whatever you're putting in here. The idea being that when you thread these down, instead of putting pressure straight on the eyepiece via the screw, the idea is that it's supposed to distribute the pressure over this ring. And if you're not careful, you can actually uh, bend these a little bit if you're pulling the eyepiece out too quickly. And then it's a bear to get that sitting flat in there again, but it's kind of a neat little idea. So here's what I was talking about. The beam's coming out the center. It's definitely hitting the flat screen here where it's reflective, but you can see the beam is actually reflecting back up here on this piece of paper. So uh, I'm gonna power up the telescope mount and get the gamepad controller going and just tweak the way it's pointing to see if I can get that as close to centered back on the laser beam as possible. Now, I should be able to control the slew rate with these buttons. Yep, I don't know if you guys can see that number moving. Perfect. Right? And then this control stick right here will control the mount. Uh, one direction goes RA, the other direction goes deck. I can never remember which one is which, but that's how it works. All right, that seems to be doing the trick. Can you guys see that? That laser beam is slowly moving downward. Increase the decorate one more. There. So I think what I'm gonna do, being that this seems to be the squared up position for the telescope, is save this position as the park. Indirectly, this will probably help my flats a tiny bit as well. 
the light should hit the objective uh, a little bit better and even more evenly. Okay, so let's save that position. So what I do is I go in here and I'm gonna save this to flats. Okay, square grid pattern, here we go. So, I mean, to the naked eye, this looks pretty fantastic. I mean, it's perfectly square. Um, there's even a bit of a grid pattern on the objective of the telescope, which looks pretty darn squared up. So I think I'm just going to try measuring this just to see what uh, each direction comes up with. Nine and a half centimeters spot on. Nine and a half centimeters. Yeah, you guys. Last time we must have done a uh, pretty good job. All right, folks. Well, there wasn't much to do. I guess we kind of nailed it the first time around, so this is a bit of a short video. But it's kind of neat just to see the process and how that works. Um, part of me wanted to take the lens and decollimate it, see how it would look with it not being straight, but I ain't going to mess with it. I mean, if it's that bang on, um, I'm going to leave it. So this upcoming week, the sun's supposed to come back out and uh, we ought to be able to take some pictures and see how everything comes together. So I'll be sure to video that and share it with you guys. Uh, until next time, uh, clear skies. See you later.